Hi, my name is Ben, and today I'm going to show you how I did the testing for a project that was given to me for, in my front end web developer nano degree course at Udacity. And for this project, I was given an application, as you can see on the right side of the screen. I basically have a title, a menu with various feeds on there. And then there's a bunch of different hyperlinked icons, which are part of the code. And then below here is Jasmine. Jasmine is a useful library that helps you check your JavaScript inside your application. So I'm going to show you, I'm basically going to explain what I wrote for testing. And I'm going to show you, I'm basically going to, so I'm going to show you my code and see how it works with, in Jasmine. Okay. In the code, there is jQuery that is used. There's a dollar sign function, which will initiate the Jasmine for this project. In the app.js, which is the application, I'm going to look at all feeds. First, I'm going to check if they have, if they are defined, if there are if the URLs have more than zero characters. And I will also check that there are, they have names. And after that, I will show you the rest. So each suite, as they're called in Jasmine, I'll have four suites. So for the first suite, which is called the RSS feeds, we'll check various different tests. First test I'm going to implement is with this it function, which is from Jasmine. I will call it feeds are defined. Basically, for this function, I expect that all feeds are defined, so they exist inside the all feeds. I will expect that all feeds, which is the array, the variable array of all feeds, to be defined. And I will also check if all feeds have a length that is not equal to zero. In this function, I check that all URLs are defined. I added a a for loop that will check from the first feed of zero and it will check the length of all feeds which will be incremented by one and I expect that all feeds depending on the variable uh, dot URL have a defined URL or same as above that all feeds of URL and the length of the URL are not zero and I do the same thing here it expects that the name is defined and then the name of the length of the name is not zero. That's how it looks. The feeds are defined. Yasmin is happy. The URLs are defined. Yasmin is also happy. And the names are defined. And Yasmin is also happy. Next, we're going to move on to the menu tweet. And I will, we will check that the menu element is hidden. We expect that the tag of body has a class of menu hidden. Where do I get this? I get this from the app, which adds a class of menu hidden. I expect that the tag of body has a class of menu hidden to be equal to true. In the next test, we look at if the working toggle on click event for the menu icon link is hidden. So for example, right here, it will appear. And we select that the dot menu icon link class, which is in the HTML, it expects that the tag of body has a class of menu that is false. So it, it won't be true as soon as I click on it. And there you go, that it works. And then for this test, it will expect that the menu is hidden on the next click, trigger click, ta-da, there you go, that works. And just to test that if Yasmin is happy, with the coding, Yasmin is happy. So now we can move on. All right, in the third suite, so this before each calls a function to do an asynchronous request. In this test, which is defined if entry has more than zero entries, tests if the load feed function has at least a single entry within the feed container. So these classes right here. Defined, let's check if they're happy. And Jasmine is happy. Now we can continue. Lastly, for this suite that looks at the feed, at the new feed selection. So this before each ensures that the new feed is loaded via the load feed function. And the feeds are empty. And then it will load 
the first feed. The entry start searches for the first feed for the URL. And then in the second part of the before each function, we want to load in the second feed and we want to check that it will find the old feeds.url. Finally, in the test, we want to see if the feed if feeds are different to each other. So we expect that entry start is not equal to entries end. So we check that in Jasmine and the test turns out that Jasmine is happy. So there you go. So I hope you found this instructive. I, I also hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you very much and goodbye.